Hi everyone, my name is Allie and I am a high school chemistry teacher and this is my first day back to school. This is our um, first of two professional development days and I thought I would kind of show you my room a little bit and what we're doing. Um, so this year I decided to completely revamp my room um, and we can also, last year our desks had to be in rows and this year we can put them back in pods. Um, so I started doing that a little bit. Um, so I'll show you, like, this is what things look like all year. Um, it's kind of a bummer. And then I'm going to go ahead and start putting them into, well, there we go, into pods, which is my favorite way for sciences for collaboration. Um, and then I went ahead and bought from Lakeshore Learning. Um, I think it's Lakeshore Learning. I could be wrong. Um, but I bought new border for my whole room. So um, anywhere that's going to be have stuff on it. So this, my cabinet, let's see if I can get far enough away, is going to be my new growth mindset stuff. Um, I did try and put it on my periodic table as well, uh, but it fell off. So I have to find a new way to attach that. I put it um, on my whole front board um, and then my sideboard across the top and then my backboard. And then what I did for... So this is just uh, fadeless paper, and then this is actually school, um, uh, like, copy paper, and I just cut it to about, like, two inches, one and a half, two inches, um, and then stapled it to do kind of like a rainbow theme, because rainbow, or as my son says, colorful, is, like, my favorite, and it just makes me really happy, but I didn't want to do since I'm doing so much of the border around the room, I didn't want to do it around the whole board because I thought that'd be too much. So each section of board has a different, like purple, our school color is purple. So school stuff, this is going to be a science fiction board. So here's the quote. Um, Your ancestors called it magic and you call it science. It's kind of hard. It's not showing up very well. But I did like dot this and try and make it kind of fun, but you can't see it from far away. So, and all I did was color this in black. Uh, marker but from far away it, it like blends in and it's very humid in our building so a lot of this stuff is curling up but my next little board area I have like science jokes and um, quotes but I think I might make this um, like science people because we have people in a joke but I think I might do there's um, I think it's elementary in the mitten has um, a stem pack of quotes by famous scientists um, that I like the look of. It's really popular right now. I do have, this is from Presto Plans, both of these. Um, so they match and I already have these, but I do them like once a week. But if I just put up a different set, then I won't have to change it. I don't know, I'm still thinking about that. I saw this on Pinterest. And it's not done, but I was trying to see how well from far away you could see it. So it says, in case no one told you today, hello, good morning, you belong here, you're doing great, I believe in you. So um, I really wanted to put this in this space because kids out in the hallway can see it. And so even if they're not my kid, um, I hope that they see that and feel like they belong. Um, and then what else, what else, what else? So I'm reorienting my... Um, like assignment focus board I don't really give like homework so it's just kind of like a daily or weekly calendar and mostly I use it but some of the kids do find it helpful so I'm redoing this a little bit and then the rest of the space is usually like I have all these magnets where I put student work and then I want to do something because this wall is super blank besides my periodic table but we're not really supposed to hang things on the wall and I'm already going to be, I left it in my car and I'll show you when I get it, but um, this is my desk area, which is also kind of, so those are from Homecoming last year, which was Disney themed and my grade level had Marvel for their Disney theme. So I like snagged some of these when Homecoming was over and hung them up there. Um, but it's kind of boring, I don't know if you notice, but I do not have windows. So um, I bought a window poster, so I'm going to hang that up there. Hopefully that'll make me feel a little bit better. Um, and then this board stayed the same. This is just my stuff. I did move the calendar back here because students don't really use it. Um, and I'm probably not going to use it either. It just like fills up some space and has some nice artwork. Um, this fabric I bought from um, Joanne Fabrics. I just lift this up a long time ago. Um, and then my favorite color is yellow. So that one's outlined in yellow. 
And then over here is our my calculator board. So um, I have to go through and put all the calculators. They are numbered. We had to etch them. Here. Yeah, like they're etched. So I don't know if you can see. It's not going to show up, but they are etched and have a label. So I have to put them in the correct spot. But this year we do not have to sanitize things. So I don't have to worry about putting them in baggies or cleaning them or anything. So, I mean, kids can sanitize them if they want, but I'm not going to do that. And then I think I'm going to remake this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do instead. I like it, but I don't know. So it's just say no to naked numbers. Every number needs a unit. And then I have some examples, but these specifically were never supposed to be permanent and I've used them for two years now. So I need to figure out a solution for that. But that's it. So pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and finish my lunch and orient the desks and then probably at some point go and get that um, thing for my wall. Oh, and then I guess I can show you this now. Um, I made to go along with the new banners. My students are going to fill these out, so they're going to get one of these, but these are the shapes on my um, things, and this is going to be an all about meanie, and then I'm going to hang them across the ceiling. I think they'll be really fun. So each period is going to get a color, and then I'm going to have on the board like what I want on it, like your name, um, what are some things that you enjoy, what are your hobbies, and I left it intentionally blank so that they can be creative um, if they just want to fill the whole space with their name. Kind of boring but that's fine if um because some kids don't aren't sharers but i figured for my artistic kids this would be really fun and then for my like not artistic kids or kids who think they're not good at art they can just write it out but it can still like provide some um decorations for the room so yeah that's what i'm working on so y'all i just redid my room and there i used to have tape on the floor. They scraped it up this summer, but I was able to use that because this is the way I like to organize my room. So I have six groups of four and then three groups of two in the back. Um, I've tried lots of different layouts this, just with these desks and chairs. This I have found to provide the most, like lots of space in between, even with students sitting in the desks. And then I forgot, had forgotten, oh, look at all this space on the side. So like this, um, is a f has a bunch of like student stuff those calculators need to be put in the thing but so I love that they're not gonna bother anybody like here's my books these used to be over here um, honestly I don't want to move it because I, I'd have to take down all the books move the bookshop so that's gonna stay there but I was able to move this table which one of the things I prefer to do with my students is have um, a centralized place to pick things up and drop things off. So I'm thinking about making this desk table thing some sort of, I don't know, maybe pickup station. <sighs> yeah, and then maybe moving that pencil sharpener over here. I don't know, because if kids need to get up in the middle of a lesson, this really annoyed me this year having it here, so maybe I will move that over there. But yeah, I'm super excited. And then back here I have huge whiteboards. We don't use them often, or we didn't last year, but I'm planning on, actually my son was doing that the other day. But yeah, I feel so good. I feel so much lighter in here. Um, yeah. So now I'm gonna tackle, I think, this, and then I need to find some packing tape because um, I'm thinking of it adhering the, because it's just regular paper, I'm thinking of adhering with packing tape, but then it'll be glossy. I don't know, but I don't have a, I mean, I have a Cricut, but I don't have vellum, and I don't want to take the time to cut it out. Same with uh, that board. I don't, it's not in vellum, the stuff that I have. It's just, like, printed, which I wor used last year, and it worked fine. So the problem is I'm having issues with the humidity. Like I had to this morning when I came in, this was on the ground. I'm just, I just used electrical tape because I thought that might work because the tape I have um, sucks. So I had this like blue tape and I was trying to use that because it has worked for me in the past, but um, this was the tape we actually used for homecoming. So it's old and for homecoming, it didn't stick very well. Nobody's tape stuck well because the building was so humid. So 
part of the reason is humidity, getting rid of the humidity in the building. Um, I do have a hot glue gun here somewhere, so I might hot glue some stuff, like definitely probably up on the periodic table. And I might just have to laminate the, in case no one told you today, and hot glue it to a board and just live with it. And then I also need to print my, um, it's not as crucial, but I am gonna do a science fiction board back there. And I, I've done it before in my old school. I had one and I loved it. And I had tons of science fiction things, but I can't find the file. Um, so I just print like the covers of books or movie posters or whatever and kind of fill it up, all the things that I really like. And then it actually sparks some cool conversations with kids, whether they knew something was science fiction or not. Um, and it's just, I'm a science fiction nerd, so it's, I get to look at cool stuff all day. So. All right, we are on day two of setup. This backboard has changed a little bit, so I got those from Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, I love them. I will link them below. These are, This is the STEM pack of inspirational quotes from Elementary in the Mitten. Um, this is going to be a sci-fi board. I did have to, have to move that like um, quote a little bit because this ended up taking up more space than I thought it would. Um, and I didn't want to leave out too many quotes. I just had to leave out one. Um, and then this is like school stuff. So they just gave us those three um, posters. And then I'll put like school flyers and stuff on the bottom. And then there's my growth mindset. Um... I think everything else is done. Hey everyone, I just thought I would check in. It is almost um, three o'clock, it's about 2.40, and it's the end of my last prep day. So today we didn't have any meetings, we just got to kind of get ready. So um, my room is done, my like redecorating is done, um, and I have my expectations done, and um, yeah, so I'm ready for tomorrow. Well, I'm ready for tomorrow, but I'm not because I'm still on like summer. I want to do summer things. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, so that was kind of my very short setup. Um, I'm most excited, turn it back around, for my seats to be back. Oh, something that I decided to do this year, if you're not sure what you want to do for seating charts, is instead of assigning seats because they um, the schedules the first couple days always change uh, for students I just decided um, these are my seat numbers which I haven't figured out my permanent solution for that yet and then these are the periods I'm teaching and I'm just have the, gonna have the kids pick a seat write their name down and then I can go at the end of the day and um, make a seating chart from that and then if we change it it'll change but then that might be like I don't know, because I like the kids to sit on the first couple days anywhere, and then that kind of shows me who their friends are, who maybe they should avoid. Um, and seating them alphabetically by last name like doesn't help me learn their names personally. Um, so, and I like having them not sit that way like almost forces me to um, learn their names faster because if student A is here, but student Z is next to them, and student B is over. Like, it makes me, like, focus on learning their names. So I'm excited to kind of go back to, the, to that and then just let them know that if they, um, and I always let kids know when I do this, like, you know, make a smart choice. You can always move seats. Um, but uh, if it is not a smart choice, I may have to move your seat for you. Um, and a lot of times in a school this big, they might not know anybody, so it is kind of interesting to see how they pair up um, and then I can also see like who immediately comes to the front who who prefers to sit in the back sometimes this whole table like right in front of my desk nobody will sit there so <laughs> you know maybe it'll keep me safer for COVID right um, 
that's kind of what happened. I ignore, I, this past year, I did it only in the second semester. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for setup. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video on something. <laughs> I have a list. Um, and I'll probably put that up sometime this week as well. Well, it's already Wednesday, so maybe two videos this week. I don't know. But um, hope everyone is having a safe and fun summer, and I will check you guys out later. See ya.